Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. And for this one, I'm documenting those two photos of Marcus and Franklin. So I needed a 12 by 12. I knew I wanted to pull in some of the multicolored scraps I had left over from Simple Story. So I'm going to try to get that last strip of that multicolored stripe. And then I'm also going to try to use that navy paper with the multicolored plus signs. Um, so those are the two papers from my scraps I'm really going to focus on. I really wanted to try to use the rest of this multicolor scrap in a larger piece because pretty much with this whole collection, I've just been using it in small strips. Um, so I really wanted it to be more of a star on the final page that got to be on. Uh, for the background, I kind of just wanted to pull a more solid tone on tone paper from one of the colors in that stripe and I ended up going with this really nice uh, monstera leaf background. I really like that soft green and I think it's tame enough where I can pile on um, these more colorful papers and it'll still read really well. So what I decided to do with the scraps that I had <laughs> was create this vertical strip of layering while having my photos um, kind of be a horizontal branch off of that. It's kind of that L design that's a really good go-to, especially when you have scraps. So that's the base of this design. Again, again I'm gutting the background. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to piece it all together on some black, which I just did off camera. So this is the base, and I'm going to start building the clusters. I, ha I had a couple scraps of that navy paper with the multicolored plus sign, so I'm just going to stack a couple of those scraps vertically to make it look like a longer piece. And then I actually have a branding strip of that paper, and I'm going to run that up the left side of the multicolored paper just for a little more of that darker color. <laughs> and I just went ahead and matted both of these photos together, and I'm just using a darker green scrap I already had cut into from the die cuts with the view paper pad to get a mat around that. And that paper wasn't big enough to go all the way around, but I also had those cut apart um, border strips that I had already cut apart from a previous paper in this uh, paper pad. And there's a couple green ones that I wanted to pile on here too. So those are going to kind of cover up the bottom part of that mat where that green mat doesn't go all the way around the photos. And that's kind of just what I decided to do with that. I really like this darker green succulent paper, but I felt like having both of these border strips together, just plain straight edge, were a little boring. So I decided to do a notebook edge punch on that darker green just to add a little bit of interest. So I'm going to get that border punch done. And then that's going to layer on top of all these other layers <laughs> to cover up that that mat doesn't go all the way around on the, the photos. So I'm going to get that together and um, we're almost done, I think, with the paper layers and then I need to move on to embellishment. I do know I definitely want to try to get another tag used up. I think I have three left, three or four tags left. I wanted to get another one used up on here. And then I really wanted to start digging into the florals. I really haven't used any of the florals from the Simple Stories collection. Um, so I really wanted to get a decent amount of them on this page. I really thought about just piling them all on to get them all used up, but it kind of started to feel a little excessive. And even the ones I started with, I ended up pulling one of them off. So I think I like the balance that I ended up um, striking. <laughs> But here's that branding strip I decided to add along the left side. And then I just had one other small scrap of that blue plus sign paper. So I'm just going to tuck it down at the bottom to make that branding strip look a little longer. So that paper really, um, you know, stretches along that left hand side. And I really like that look. <laughs> and then looking through the tags I had left, I had this tone on tone orange that says I am here. And I thought with the green background and the navy paper, that color just popped really good. I thought about doing that more um, bluey green landscapey tag, but it just kind of got lost with all the other colors. And I really like how this orange one can stand up to everything. And it also ties into the oranges that's in that stripe. So I felt like that struck the best balance. So I definitely want to use that one. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go. I think it's going to be in that general area. And I ended up tucking it behind these layers here, and I end up liking that a lot better. 
Um, and then now I'm just playing with the florals. So I know I want to create a visual triangle by having three floral clusters around the page, kind of framing the, the photo. So I know I want some florals by the tag. Um, and then since I have one up there, it kind of in the middle of the page, I decided my other two clusters would be on either side of the photo. So I really like this one on the right hand side going up that photo there. And then I decided to shift the last cluster down a little bit um, just so it was really kind of stretched around the page. And I really like this. <laughs> um, this yellow one here is the one I decided to end up taking off um, just because I feel like with that tag up there I didn't really need a lot of the florals so um, that's kind of what I ended up doing. I decided I want a little bit of that lighter orange towards the bottom of the page too because it, it kind of threw my page off balance a little bit by having that tag up there and then none of that color on the bottom. So I just decided the the bit of the tag that was tucked behind the photo I would just cut off and stretch to the bottom of the page just so you get a little hint of that light orange and I really like that but as I kept working I actually found that I had a branding strip in that color with um, some yellow florals on it and I actually thought that would be a better option to run at the bottom of the page because it would bring that color in but also tie into the florals that I'm trying to get used up so I liked that plan <laughs> with taking that little scrap of that tag and moving it towards the bottom but I end up liking what I did better <laughs> uh, but I wanted to point that out so you could notice and see how it looks now and then versus when I find my alternative plan um, I know I wanted a title on here so I just decided to go through my freckled fawn tile alphas I wanted it to be like hanging out with dad or gaming with dad or something these photos are Franklin in the man cave um, while Marcus is gaming. Marcus loves taking him up there with him. And if I let Franklin out, he like beelines for the office. He has to go up a flight of stairs and this little lizard will do it. <laughs> he loves going to the man cave. I think it's the room is warmer um, and there's a, a window that faces... What direction does it face? Kind of where the sun goes down, kind of west. Um, and so when the sun is setting, he loves sitting in the window in that room because um, the sun is so strong. But I just want to document these pictures. I just think they're really cute. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, mention something about that in the title. But before I move on too far, I like the way my floral clusters are looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking them down. I'm just trying to make sure I have a balance between the die cut florals and the chipboard florals. I really like that the chipboard adds that subtle dimension. Um, here's that branding strip I was talking about. I thought about adding it at the top, but then I was like, wait, that's the color I wanted to spread along the bottom. I should tuck it on the bottom. And instantly I was like, oh my gosh, that balances the page so much better. <laughs> so I'm just going to tape that down. Um, I'm just going to cover up that sliver of that tag that I moved down there because I really don't need it now that I... I'm adding this branding strip but I really liked how that ended up working out so but yeah like what I was saying was I'm just trying to see each cluster with the die cut florals there's a little bit of chipboard in each area so um, maybe in the close-ups you can see better but there's just a, a mix of textures in each cluster by by combining the die cuts and the chipboard and one of the florals I put up on some foam too <laughs> so um, but yes yeah, so now that I have my um, clusters down. I'm going to start with my title. I'm just going to say gaming with dad and I decided to go with this brighter orange because there's a brighter orange in that multicolored stripe and out of all of my freckled fawn tile alphas I just thought that that color went the best. <laughs> so I'm going to get the title down and then the last thing I really wanted to do was pull in some more word stickers um, I thought about pulling in some of my extra word stickers I pulled in this month from Felicity Jane, but I still have some on the Simple Story sticker sheet. And I'm really trying to prioritize using as much as I can from that kit before I start pulling from the extras that I pulled in. So I just pull in, I think, three. I pull in a green one that says the best, a navy and white one that says carefree, 
and a light blue with navy text that says memories and i think those go really well and then i just decided to pull back in my acrylic white paint and water to do some white splatter just because i think it it needed a little extra pizzazz <laughs> but that's pretty much it i probably will go back and thread that twine um, that tag with some twine i completely forgot to do that but you might see that in the the layout share that i go back and do that but here are the close-ups thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.